There's leave no trace, people. Not even such a candy wrapper. That's where we were. So we're mostly packed up, getting ready to roll here shortly. But uh, the only leave no trace, uh, that briar bush right there got on my nerves last night. Scraped me a couple times, so uh, it got hacked up. March 24th, day 83. It is about 20 of 8. We're going to hit the trail here shortly. Um, I was up to about quarter after 10 last night messing around on my phone, charging it up, editing and stuff. But uh, with the sound of the creek and uh, cool, cooled off a little bit, I slept like a rock till about quarter after four. And then I couldn't get back to sleep, so got up and started packing up because it takes me a little bit longer with all my tarp and underquilt and hammock and all that stuff. Uh, she can set up pretty quick with her tent. But anyway, long story short, uh, we're gonna hit the trail. We got a lot of climb today, more so than yesterday. Um, we're going to see how far we can get. Thunderstorms are supposed to roll in at 3. Um, it is what it is. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I've had some blisters on the outside of my heels. They come and go. Um, must have not had the shoes too tight, but I put some KT tape on and then put Luco tape over top of that. So we should be good to go for today. Um, looks pretty nice right now, but looks can be deceiving. So hope you have a great day. Friday, start of the weekend. And uh, we'll see you on down the trail. And we're off. Back on trail. Up, up and away going to be the theme for most of the morning. <sighs> Ten yards in, I'm already breathing heavy. That said Harper's Ferry. So we came across yesterday. <clears throat> I see the creek way down yonder. We're climbing fast. <clears throat> or not fast, but 
we're gaining elevation fast. We're at a snail's pace right now. I know this doesn't do it justice, but this kind of gives you an idea of where we're headed. That's up there. Let's go check it out. Hey now, if it dropped into the 50s last night, I'd be surprised, but uh, it's got to be in the 60s already, but very humid. Whew. He cut the air with a knife. You can definitely tell something's coming in. Boy, some crazy weather. Not too long ago, water bottles were freezing, and now... You take 10 steps after you put your pack on, you're sweating. Soak through. But hey, it could be worse. All right. We just leveled off a hair before we start climbing again. But uh, took some pictures of some trees and bushes and stuff. A lot of stuff starting to pop. I got mosquito bites last night. I got up in the middle of the night to pee. And a beetle got in my hammock. I don't know how the hell that happened, but it took me a good five minutes of flopping around like a fish out of water to get that thing out. But anyway, spring is coming. Actually, it's here. All right, we'll talk to you guys in a bit.
Hey now, as you can see, man, it is absolutely a killer climb and beautiful. But man, is this pretty wild. Very cool. And uh, we're going straight up, so I gotta put this away. But uh, yeah, I crawled down in there, took a little bird bath, got something to drink. Very cool. See at the top. And here comes the rain. Starting on a big climb here. She just started raining, so I stopped put my pack cover on and my umbrella. And now we're uh, going up this climb. A couple miles from a shelter yet. We'll probably stop here for lunch. But I think it's supposed to pretty much rain for a while. And... Uh, supposed to be booming later so that'll be interesting so uh, we'll talk to you in a bit Hey now, it is high noon, raining and then stop, raining and then stop. No electricity yet, but it's coming. So uh, we stopped at that shelter for lunch, a quick break, and the next shelter isn't for 16 miles. So we're gonna send it, see what happens. I mean, if worst comes to worst, we can camp anywhere. But uh, the goal is to hit that shelter. So, we'll see what happens. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. All right, imagine this, we're climbing. Blue Ridge Parkway, everybody. Yep, sir. And a garbage can to boot.
the ledges. Hey now, it is 7.30, we are in Waynesboro. We had every intentions of going to the next shelter and taking 10 more miles, but uh, we were done. I got blisters on both my heels that are killing me, 0.7's foot was acting up. And we wouldn't have been able to get to the shelter till about 8.30, an hour from now. And uh, it rained pretty good earlier. Looks like it's clearing up a little bit now, but the mountains are still engulfed in the clouds. So uh, we decided to uh, go to Stanimal Stanimals in Waynesboro. And then tomorrow we're going to slack from where we got off trail. And then come back to Waynesboro. So... Got to Stanimals. We uh, actually were sitting alongside the road contemplating what to do, and a car pulled up and asked us if we needed a ride. Why, yes, yes, we do. So I forget the gentleman's name, and I didn't get his picture, but he's a hiker, and uh, he's hiked a lot of trails, and he was just in the area doing some hiking. He just finished up the Florida Trail. So, uh, very appreciative and thankful that he gave us a ride. Uh, his uh, hotel is real close to where the Stanimals is at, so that was super cool that he did that. So we got there and uh, we both got some showers and then we walked a few blocks to go grab something to eat and we're just walking back now. So uh, that is the game plan as of now. So, March 20 third day 81 damn day, day 80 day 82 march 24th no march 23rd day 82 let me figure this out all right the mystery has been solved march 24th day 83 um now i gotta find out what the mileage was all righty then it was 15.5 miles. We stayed at a campsite by Ty River and we got off at Dripping Rock parking area right off the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway. And that's where uh, that fine gentleman gave us a ride into Waynesboro. So tomorrow we're gonna go there and slack back to the hostel. And then the following day we're gonna head north and then Kevin's gonna be coming down and we're gonna be meeting with him and doing some slack packing so that's what's going on hope you have a good weekend have a great Friday night and we'll talk to you in the morning <laughs>